Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 36, and we're continuing our playthrough, or <laughs> we finished our playthrough of Portal and Portal 2 for season 3, and we even fit in a little bit of co-op with Arcadius, and that that was fun. Oh, I forgot how much fun that was. And uh, I, I think those were supposed to be the uh, the intermediate. Yeah, because we already did the, the Tier 1 levels a long time ago, back when I first played through Portal 2. And uh, we just went through the Tier 2 tests. So at some point, we'll have to get together and maybe try to do uh, Tier 3 and all that other fun stuff. Now, now this is where we hit the, uh, the kind of season wrap-up. So for Season 3, uh, all right, let me back up a step. Season one, we did Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It was straight live to tape, uh, two, two and a half, sometimes three hour episodes and just got uploaded bulk to YouTube. And there's a lot of people that weren't watching it because, well, that's a lot to watch in one go. It, it seems to be one thing when it's live. Like when you're watching a live stream as it's happening, it, it tends to to be a little bit different than if you're going back and watching it later. Even though YouTube gives you the illusion that you can pause and resume, uh, most people don't. Just one of those weird things. Uh, so for season two, when we played through Chrono Trigger, tried something a little bit different and inserted all these little breaks and pauses and breaks and pauses. So we do record. So the live stream was still two, two and a half hours, and basically every 20 minutes or so, we'd kind of insert a cut and then start a next episode. And that way, when you know, live stream would roll like normal. And on YouTube, throughout the week, you'd see 20-minute episodes roll out each day. Uh, that seemed to work a little bit better, although I noticed that uh, the game you play <laughs> uh, has an interesting influence, like... Um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic uh, tended to get a fair number of live viewers. Uh, Chrono Trigger, not so much. But Chrono Trigger got me a lot more YouTube views. Whereas, so far with Portal and Portal 2, almost nobody's been watching on YouTube later. People have been watching live as we're recording it, but not watching on YouTube later. And I, I, don't, I don't quite know how to, how to take that one. Some of it might be the wording of the titles and the episodes. I... Uh, I'm going to keep calling this Games Revisited, but I'm not going to make that the focus of the title. I tried to do that with this go-around, and I don't know if that helped or hurt. Um, still still trying to figure that one out. So now, I guess the, the next thing to do is figure out, now that I get a format, live to tape on the live stream, and then release it as a series of shorter episodes on YouTube throughout the week. Now that i got a decent format with that going, and I, I, I'm... I'm I've worked out a fair number of the kinks, mostly. Uh, mo the biggest, the biggest, uh, the biggest issue has been my attention <laughs> to detail. Like it, you can't see it on the screen, but I've got a clock right up here next to the game window to remind me how long I've been going for. But I get so so focused on the game that I, I lose track of of the clock and the time and when it's time to cut and start the next episode. So some of them do run a little bit long. I haven't quite gotten that down to where I, I can keep it to a solid, you know, 20 to 25 minutes without going too far outside of that range. Um, and some of, that, some of that is the game too. Uh, it's... It's not always good to cut in the middle of a chamber. I've done it. Uh, matter of fact, I did it today. <laughs> so, you know, it's not like I'm opposed to that, but there, it does seem to be some really weird places to insert cuts, and I've been trying to keep those fairly appropriate for where things are at. Uh, so that's season three. Overall, it, it definitely feels like a progression uh, to go from where we were with Knights of the Old Republic to Chrono Trigger and now through Portal and Portal 2, it definitely feels like a progress in production. And I, I hope you're seeing that as well. The The next step is I really thought I had one more week of chambers. Like I, I went and did a quick run through of how many chambers were left. And I really thought that that uh, and now where it's, he tries to kill you is going to stretch on longer than it did. Because when you look at the summation of all the different chambers, 
So this is not actual official chambers. It looks like a lot of material. Um, I forgot that it was Wheatley doing all this and that it was going to be stupid and stupidly simple. <laughs> so, you know, the, there that is too. Um, so now I got to figure out uh, what I'm going to do for season four. So far, I've been going uh, PC game to console game to PC game. So I, I'm thinking I want to do a console game for season four. Uh, I thought about going to Crystallis. That is a game for the classic NES. I did. A l I talked a little bit about that during the interludes over the holidays. And I, so I might bring that one back, but I was playing through it over the weekend and it is fun. It is enjoyable, but I don't know that it's a good show. Does that make sense? Uh, it, it is, it is a good game. It has a solid enough storyline, but I don't know that it really makes for a compelling show. And I don't know if that's because it's a classic Nintendo game. I don't know if that's because it, it, that's just where it sits on the merits of uh, its story and gameplay. I, I remember playing it. I remember fondly playing it as a child when it came out. And uh, I still enjoyed playing through it myself. But again, I'm not sure that uh, there's not a whole lot of room for commentary. Like... Yeah, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, there's lots of decisions you have to make. There's lots of things you have to consider because you're trying to balance light side points, dark side points. What kind of build are you doing with the character? Um, Chrono Trigger still had decisions to make and things to do. It was a little more linear, but you still had options and things that would affect the way the game played out. Uh, Portal was a little more straightforward in that you, you go from chamber to chamber to chamber. You go from puzzle to puzzle to puzzle. But there was a lot to talk about, uh, talking through the puzzles, talking through the mechanics, and enjoying the snarky remarks that Gladys makes. I mean, let, let's face it, that is more than half the fun of the game, is listening to Gladys uh, poke you and prod you and, and, and give you all sorts of snarky, snarky fun comments. Um... So I'm, what I might do is I might look at a couple other games that I mentioned during the interludes, either um, Illusions of Gaia or The Secret of Mana. Those were both games for the SNES system, and I played them. I, I've got... <laughs> yeah. I've got... Uh, I've, got the, uh, I've got the ROMs, I've got the emulator ready to play them. So the graphics aren't going to be as good as when we played uh, Chrono Trigger because these are not upscaled ports. The, these are direct from ye olden days. Um, but that's where I'm leaning as far as what comes next. And, and yeah, unless, uh, unless I dig through the library and find something that seems a better fit Is that actually, you know what? It's not like I can't... Yeah, Final Fantasy... Oh. I, I would absolutely love to do Final Fantasy VII, but that's one of the other things that I've been trying to keep tabs on is time. Yeah, you, you look through... You look through... Uh, let me let me pull up on a tab on my monitor over here. Um, our, we logged into my account here. Oh, let me go log in. I want to go grab a uh, take a look. Where's my library? There's my library. Um, because Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was fairly lengthy. It, it is probably the longest of the three seasons that we've done so far. And Final Fantasy VII is going to be the same or longer. Uh, let's see, let's go star, let's filter just the Star Wars games, and we ended up with what? Um, yeah, it, I got it. Um, short, oh, there we go. Date published. 
Yeah, so we ended up with 26 weeks worth of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. That uh, that was kind of lengthy. And then if we go to Chrono Trigger, it was a lot less. Chrono Trigger ended up being 14 weeks. And then Portal and Portal 2 were only uh, like week 5. I, I was really not expecting... Uh, cooperate with me. I was not expecting this to not cooperate. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're only at like five weeks of Portal, Portal 2. Uh, that that part kind of surprised me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we are on week one, two... Did I misnumber these? I think I did. One, two, oh, yeah. <laughs> Three, four, five, yeah. So we're about five or six weeks into, uh, oh, how about I've got it on my title over here, week six. So the, the, so uh, Final Fantasy VII is going to be way, it's going to be at least as long, if not longer, than Knights of the Old Republic, and I'm not sure I want to do one quite so lengthy. Uh, Ocarina of Time... Yeah, yeah. If I start Final Fantasy VII now, that that would definitely put me on track for. Um, if I started it now, I might be done by the holidays. The other thing with Final Fantasy VII is there's a lot of there's a lot of grindy spots, and I don't know if I can time it. That was one of the issues I had with uh, Chrono Trigger. Is there was a couple of spots where I really needed to grind up some levels. And I got kind of lucky in being able to slot them into the various places that they needed to be. Um, so it mostly worked out. I got lucky with a lot of that. Same thing with Star Wars. The nice thing about Star Wars is I, uh, because I held back on some of the early levels, it ended up putting me at or slightly ahead of the level I needed to be at when I got where I was going. Portal, thankfully, didn't have the the leveling and the grinding and the off-screen stuff that uh, the previous two had. That's part of why I put it in there, because uh, I was supposed to be making a career transition and moving from where I am now to the new shop so I could start learning to repair violins, violas, cellos, basses, and that sort of thing. And uh, then COVID-19 happened, and the world shut down and everything went on hold, so who knows what's happening next. Um... And I'm not sure that I want to start something quite that long term. Not sure about Ocarina of Time. That is one of the ones that I never played. And it is probably one that I should play. Uh, especially with, with a Legend of Zelda fan like Arcadius. Uh, constantly nudging me on that one too. Uh, I could do A Link to the Past. Because I, I do have that one, I, I have that ROM downloaded, and I'm familiar with it because I played that one when it came out. Although I remember some of the, some of the areas being, um, let's just say I had to borrow a friend's Nintendo Power Guide. Because that was, that was not, that was something. That was definitely something. Um... Although I'm not opposed to doing that either. I mean, I, I use I use the Nintendo Power Guide for I, as you can see, I'm not opposed to player guides. <laughs> the, the, this was the old the original one. This is the one that I used playing through Chrono Trigger for the first time. <laughs> so I'm not opposed to those either. And I could do that for either a link to the past or Ocarina of Time. Uh, they should be a little bit shorter than Final Fantasy VII. But um, I really, I do, I do want to do either uh, Illusion of Gaia or Secret of Mana. So I guess it's, I, I guess it's a toss up between those and A Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time. One and four. May, who knows? Maybe what I'll do is this weekend I'll just roll a four-sided dice and 
you know, give each one a number and whichever one pops up, that's what we end up picking. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not opposed to that either. I've done that before in making some of these choices. Uh, or no, cause I don't want to do the, I thought about going to do the, uh, sequel to Knights of the Old Republic too, but I, I do want to switch back to a console game. I do want to switch back to a console game, so I don't know. I might just uh I might just draw lots. Get a couple of game games together, draw lots, and then uh it'll be a surprise. Okay, Ocarina Time's about thirty to forty hours. Alright, so thirty to forty hours of gameplay, that's what? Uh uh, math, if we did two hours a week, that would be 15 weeks, 20 weeks. Length of the past is about 25. Oh, all right. I may have to look up the game. Uh, are you looking those up on the wiki? Because if you are, or if you're looking those up somewhere, then, uh, see what the, uh, gameplay time for, uh, Illusion of Gaia and Seeker of Mana are. Because that, yeah, that, uh, that might be the crunch. 20, 25 hours worth of gameplay. It, well, at least it'll be long enough. Somebody's lying if they tell you Final Fantasy VII can be done in 25 to 40 hours. I have spent more than 40 hours on Final Fantasy VII and still haven't finished it. That also seems to be the game that I perpetually start and never finish. That's why I'm kind of reluctant to tie that to a season. Seems to be a little bit of a black swan. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Portal and Portal 2 are great. They're just way too short. And Portal 2 is getting a little close to uh, being more modern than I want to do for Games Revisited. I mean, I guess I could always do Skyrim, but honestly, I get so lost in that game that that could be a season, un uh, a whole series unto itself, just a once a week Skyrim thing. Um... I don't want to look and see when Skyrim was published, but because I, I think it actually came out further back than uh, than I remember it coming out, and that might make me sad. I mean, I already saw a thing that the uh, The Witcher Three is uh, on its five year anniversary this year, and I still haven't played it. I have it, but I still haven't played it. Yikes. Um, so I guess I'll leave you with that uh, that wonderful mystery of uh, <laughs> what game's coming up next. It, it, it Skyrim was also 2011. All right, so that's the same time frame as Portal 2. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. No, I'm not going to do a Skyrim unless I do that as a separate separate series all into itself. Uh, you know. The Adventures of Herp and Derp in Skyrim. <laughs> no, it, it's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be a console game. Um, I, that's right. I was going to pull up my library of uh, games that I happen to have handy. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do a Witcher Three first look, but that that's getting per perilously close to a modern game for games revisited. I mean, the whole idea is to look at the games of the past. Uh, box adventure, castle, uh, I could do Castlevania, but I never finished that one either. My dad finished it. I, I never finished it. And again, it's not really the kind of start and stop game. Yeah, 2015, that was only five years ago. Uh, that, that's too new, too new. Uh, 2011 was already kind of edging a little more modern than I wanted to really do. I mean, I guess I could go really old school and do Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. I, I That was actually the first Zelda game I played. 
What is Zelda 2? Um, I could do Willow, but that game was a little... Yeah, Castlevania was a great game. I could do Willow, but that's, that, that's again, that's one of those games that it, it was fun to play. It is fun to play, but uh, I don't I don't think it would make for a good show. Zelda might, but yeah, the, the playtime's probably going to be back up in the 30-hour time frame. Um... Yeah, I know. Ocarina of Time is going going back a ways. I, I really didn't want to look and see that it was actually 1998. Um, because that means A Link to the Past was a lot earlier than that. And that's the date that... that I, I don't want to... I'm trying not to think about that. Uh, <laughs> I, could, I could do Ultima. But honestly, if I did Ultima... I would want to do the 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 actual PC port because I, I found out that uh, they cut a lot of the content and a lot of the options to make it fit on the cartridge for the NES. Oh. Oh, of course you had to post that. Link to the Past was in 91? That makes me sad. I think I need to add something to my coffee. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, the more, the more I look at the classic NES games that I would want to do, they were fun games, but I'm not entirely sure they would make a fun adventure. Although I still might do Crystallis. That, that's probably not going to take that long. Um All right, let's go let's go see what I got for the SNES Andy real quick. Uh Ultima 6. No, that's the one that I was talking about, not Ultima Exodus. Uh Ultima 6, I'd really want to do the PC version instead of the console version for the SNES because I heard they they cut a lot to make it fit on the cartridge and I'd like to actually get the full full experience. Um Soul Blazer was okay. Secret of Mana is definite one. Illusion of Guy is definite one. We already did Chrono Trigger. Yeah, you know that that might be uh, that might just be what I do. Is I put Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, Illusion of Gaia, and um, Secret of Mana. Number them one through four. Roll a dice, and that's what uh, that's what we end up. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed that when I was playing it over a weekend, how just how far I got. <laughs> Crystallis might actually be too short. Yeah, as much as I want to revisit the classic NES, I, I might skip those for now until I'm in need of another short, short game. Um, yeah, so I'll just take those four SNES games, Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Illusion of Gaia, Secret of Mana, number them one through four, roll a dice, and what we end up with is, uh, what you end up seeing. What, what do we pick? I guess you'll have to find out next week. So, uh, this is where I'm going to hit the credits on the last episode of season three. Thank you for joining along. If you're watching live, this is it. This is the end. So when I close this out, it's done. Hope you had fun. If you haven't been watching live or you haven't had the chance to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And there's three ways you can help the channel out. You can follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I do this on Thursdays. I do a Minecraft stream on the CoffeeCraft server on Tuesdays with Arcadius and a couple other friends. And uh, I try to get in a couple of extra streams throughout the... I want to start getting an extra stream or two in throughout the week. But it's going to be uh, it's going to be kind of random and uh, hit or miss. So... Uh, I guarantee you Tuesday and Thursday. Anything else, that's why you want to follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified. And it, 
no matter what, also subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below there. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, then you're already there. And <laughs> that way you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. Because these live streams all go up. Any other episodes I produce go up. Um, I might spend a little bit of time over the long weekend working on a data pack for Minecraft. In which case I'll post up a little bit more on that too. Uh, so I guess you just have to follow on uh, YouTube subscribe on youtube to find out about that and uh so that's it and i'll see you next time as soon as i find the right button